god, I look so bad today. What the hell? I do not like the way I look. So, um, sorry for my little mental breakdown. I'm just gonna blur out the mess. I'm really embarrassed, guys. I don't be living in filth, I swear. Jackets! Super puff, Aritzia. This! Got this from Princess Polly. It was in my last haul. These jeans are from Revolve. They're high waisted. They're snug. The bag is from my mom. Made it. It's the cutest puffer chocolate brown bag. It's so basic. But what is making a basic right now? Like, what do you think it is, Shatana? I think this outfit's a little too casual for Instagram. I think that's the issue. It's this basic black super puff jacket. It's like, if you're gonna wear a simple outfit, you need to have a extra jacket. Okay, it's just gonna be a whole like little. So I think I found the outfit. Yes, this is it's this is it. It's like casual, but you're still damn bitch. Do you know how to dress or what? Like look at this. Do you see this coat? <laughs> Do you see this bag? I wanted to tell you guys a proper intro because I know that first one was really chaotic and now I'm more calm. I'm really chaotic when I'm getting dressed. I've always been this way because I care. I care about how I look after and I care about my outfit, especially when I'm trying to get pics. Some girls can do it so easily. I can't. I stress out over just everything. I'm about to go to the Eaton Center right now and meet up with my friend Lorraine. It was supposed to be yesterday that we went. There was apparently gonna be a snowstorm. There was no snowstorm, so they said it's gonna be today. No snowstorm. Now they're saying it might be later on in the day, but like, listen, I already wasted a day and a half. I need, I need to live my life, okay? Because we all remember what happened in the last snowstorm. Stuck in traffic on the DVP. Yeah, don't want to get caught up in that. That looked disastrous from inside. I was laughing at you guys from inside. Premier is literally <laughs> driving around in his no, pickup I'm truck tired. right now, helping. Um, so yeah, basically, I'm gonna clean when I come back, and we're off to the mall now. And time. <laughs> Legend, I love you, Beaster. Scratch a million, I'm not checking this three years ago. At two zero, so the one I'm in a different mode. Oh, it's so my life the way I wanna be with different hoes. You know the pick and roll, I take the rub and send her home. I got rich, I'm scared of being a man and then I'm gone. You know, Trevor just got out of here. I'm gonna just smell a bunch of these. I'm trying to get some pizza. That smells a little too strong for my home. Oh my god, it started. We have to get home, like, face yeah. up. That way. 
Welcome back to my vlog. So it's the next day and I'm gonna put my wig on. My curly wig. This is the wig that I've been wearing. It doesn't look the best right now because I wore it yesterday all day. It's a curly V part wig. Um, in my last last vlog, I showed you guys my Eunice straight wig, which I love to death. So I got the curly version. They also have kinky curly, but I feel like since my hair is so dead from straightening my hair, I needed to just go with something looser. Kinky curly would have worked for my old hair texture. 24 inches and I'll put all the info down below. So if you guys are interested in this hair that I've been wearing throughout this vlog, click and get you a wig. So you know how I told you guys I was gonna go to the mall, come back and clean my house? The plans changed. Lorraine actually came over, slept over and we just chilled. I'm like, you know what? I don't need to clean right now. Like I'll just save it for tomorrow when she leaves. So that's exactly what I'm doing now. And I'm getting ready to start my day. There's no need for the wig business. The lace business was the worst business I was ever in. Doing it by myself and taking it off and sweating off your lace, your lace peeling, all that. And for what? Instagram? For Instagram. Like I leave my hair natural for the most part unless I'm filming and unless I'm going out like to an event or whatever. Um, this is not done by the way. I have to like blend it, but let me show you the length. Okay, girl. Well, this is 24 inches of curly hair. Okay. Okay. This by Juice, Toronto brand. It is the natural hair refreshment mask and I just put like this amount and i put it on the leave out just so it's uh, my hair is very dry and fine so hairs will stick up so i need something this thick to weigh it down in a way this and cantu is also a really good um like leave-in so y'all know i gotta get my little swoosh i got the little travel sized one in nectarine blossom and honey it's a cologne but it's unisex i don't really like a very strong scent I like fresh, fruity, citrusy scents. When this settles in you, like in your skin, when it settles in your skin. So then I went to Bath and Body Works and I got two candles. This one my sister put me on, it's by White Barn, um, Sugar Lemon Zest. It's made with sugar cane, Sorrento lemons, bright lemon zest. And I just got this, it's pumpkin apple. It smells cinnamony, very holiday -y. It smells like tis the season. When I was at Joe Malone, they gave us roses. Lorraine left hers here, but how cute. I'm gonna start cleaning, and then after I'm done cleaning my entire apartment, then I do my makeup and I film my clothing haul, and uh, yeah. Smoke, smoke, smoke. Have to like me, have to like me. but you will respect me. You know why? Because I'm a boss. I just finished getting ready and now I'm about to set up my filming area. The apartment's not done being furnished, so I'm just trying to work with what I got here. Let's start arranging the filming space. How will this work? Unless I use this corner over here and move everything. Make some noise, 
raise your hand if you's a boss bitch. I don't Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking. So on today's menu is king crab, mashed potatoes, lamb chops, and some lobster tempura. I have a um, shellfish allergy. I'm actually definitely allergic to shrimp. Crab never gave me a reaction before, but I also haven't ate it in a long, long time. So we'll see. If I do have a reaction, it's like, it was kind of worth it. You guys really seem to be enjoying the cooking segments in my vlog. This is a huge part of my life. I do a lot of cooking. I do a lot of eating. New plant alert. I have to get a pot for her, but she is very cute and she's giving looks. You a little poso baby. You a little 48. It's already cooked. You add the butter, smoked paprika, and old bay. This is very crucial. Tomatoes paste. Tomato paste. Actually, the goat. We love Unico tomato paste. Cheap and effective. Can of water. The, the more butter, the better it is. But lime or lemon, whatever you get. Oh, yeah. yeah. That is key. Do you guys know what these are? Leave a comment below and let me know. Winner gets a $20 e-transfer from me. First one to guess, and I'm watching the comments. None of this is for you. There you go. None of it. Are you crazy? She's not gonna eat it. <gasps> Boy! How dare you? You deny lobster? looks absolutely amazing. It looks like something I'd pay $50 for at a restaurant. Some, yeah. if you know, you know. Okay, first time trying the sauce. The only sauce I've tried is the Bee Loves. If you guys know, she's like literally a seafood queen. She made her own sauce and that was some pretty good sauce. So let's try this. Mmm. This is good. So good. Seafood is so good. I ate this shit all my life, but like, I never ate lobster and crab. That's like, that was luxury. And honestly, my parents didn't know how to cook it. It was not really an Ethiopian cuisine like that. I discovered it later in life. Okay. It wasn't even fish Main at dish now. Been waiting for is about to be served. We're all showered and ready for dinner. Hold on, plated it so perfectly too. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. If I die, it's okay. It's okay. I've lived a good life. Get down. Get down. You can't get rid of me, bitch. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I want to try these lamb chops. You eat it first, not me. I already did. Oh, you did? It's dripping too much. That is nice and sweet. <laughs> Dip it in here. Wow. Oh, wow. Mashed potato. So in case y'all don't know, this is what I'm eating. I already ruined it because I had some. I used to be really good at this shit. Let's see if I still got it. Fuck. I ruined it. There's nothing in there. Get the big ones. Are you? Once you have it, you'll always have it. Okay. Last one because I'm actually getting full now. Let me dip it in for you guys. If you guys like seafood and you never tried king crab, try it. It's a little bit pricey, but it's worth a try. Now it's time for my actual job. Since I've been dancing and doing nothing all along. These are sharp. You need to be careful. But you're good at this. I haven't watched V Love's videos in so long. I used to literally just watch her and learn how to do it. Oh! She still got it! I literally never eat crab, but I know how to eat crab, so 
And then this one will easily come out too. Wow. No, I'm, I'm actually so good at this. Like, what the fuck? Oh my god, I've been doing this all my life. Get it right above of the elbow, I guess, of a claw. Don't cut it fully. Just a little crack. Little crack. And then pull. And you'll get the meat out like this. Pretty rest. Oh yeah. This is literally so satisfying. There, it's just for you. Are you done? You have like 20 more to go. Where's my claw, bro? What claw? You don't got one more for me? I'm working on it! Do you remember the episode of That's a Raven? No. When her, Chelsea, and Eddie had to work the school like little convenience store and the ice cream machine broke. Oh, and Chelsea put his thank you so long. Where is that swirly with sprinkles? Oh, I can't <laughs> No. And okay, well, she said I'm working on it. If you know, you know. Our cat is eating crab meat. Like this tastes familiar. Like a cat or what? of getting ready right now because it is January 31st, which means restaurants are back open in Ontario. Yes! Indoor dining is finally allowed. Um, I cleaned the kitchen, did a little workout, ate, showered, and now I'm here ready to film me getting ready for this little date night situation. Like I said, Ontario is finally open again. <laughs> it's like we got excited to be open again and then Ontario just announces a random lockdown. Back to square one for like the fifth time now. But anyways, we move and we don't complain because what's the point of complaining? Like it's literally out of our control. We just have to roll with the punches and keep going. This is gonna be a real like flash proof type of makeup. This is my photo inspo for tonight. But I'm trying to get that type of vibe, so it has to be flash proof. I'm gonna use the deep bronzy anti pollution drops on my face. It's obviously winter here and I get super duper pale, so I'm gonna add as much color to my face. This just gives you a really nice, like, bronzed undertone. So, this is the Flawless Finish Foundation by e.l.f. Um, I'm in the shade Caramel. I just bought this Real Techniques Beauty Blender, and I have to say that this is. A game changer. I got it in a PR package. I see this everywhere. Finally tried it and oh my gosh, it's definitely worth the hype. It's better than a beauty blender. Do you see this finish? This is natural lighting, so y'all can really see everything. So I'm gonna use um, the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in deep caramel. I don't use this to like highlight, I just use it to actually like conceal things first. And I go in with a uh, lighter. Concealer. Yeah, I've been trying to get back into working out back in as if I've tried working out before. I haven't. It's like the beginning of the year, everyone's like motivated to start working out, but I'm genuinely like, I feel I'm ready to become a better version of myself physically. Since now I moved out, I work from home, I don't get much activity. I have to take better care of my body. I'm trying to have a summer body for the first time in forever. This is the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. And if you don't know about this product yet, your brows do not move. And especially if you have thick, long hairs, highly recommend. Use this stipple brush to blend in my contour. I do conceal twice. One is more for highlighting. And I also like to go like underneath. It really helps create that fake jawline and I heard that Bella Hadid does it. I know she has like amazing facial structure but listen, us round face girls, like we will take any help that we can get to achieve a more like structured face. So yeah, like you gotta do what you gotta do. I usually just do powder blush but I kinda wanna try this Rare Beauty um, Liquid blushes. Are you a clown? And you hit it with your beauty blender. Is it even a Shoshana look if 
your eyeliner is not dramatic as hell. Let me taste it. To Ontario, to all my fellow Ontarians out there, to them opening it back up. Oh, this is like rum, bro. This is not champagne. This is champagne. Cognac fine champagne. Hell no, that's a shot. That's a champagne's supposed to be like light. So for lips, Mac Cork has been my go-to lately. Not to sharpen it. So we're going to the keg. We're craving steak and the keg is reliable and it's really, really good. We've been to like fancy steak houses before and it's like, all this money for what? For what? We've had better steak before. If I'm gonna slick a baby here, it's this one right here. This right here is getting slicked. This is the final look. It's literally my everyday glam. So now we're gonna chill and I'll see you guys at the restaurant. You a little poso baby. You a little 48 baby. Got a little candy in a pocket. She gon' take off like a What's going on? How are you guys? My name's Nick, by the way. I don't think I've ever actually been introduced to you. I'm gonna get red wine and steak and calamari. I got my red wine right here. Wow. So good. Outstanding. I've been on the Danforth too much and tried like three restaurants too much. I've had good calamari there. This you have that one? Really good. That's good. Yeah, this is a good one. We got one with a bunch of tentacles. This looks too good. I swear yours used to be bigger. Am I crazy? It was bigger. It used to be bigger than this. Anyways. Mine's bad. Really? So mine is too. Bruh, we have the same car in. That looks absolutely phenomenal. My phone stopped recording. I asked him if there was ever a day where he could just stop eating steak forever. Am I doing okay over here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, right. Thank you. And he said no. And I agree. Nah, this rare piece though. So good. Uh -huh. You better eat that lobster. Or I will. <laughs> I just want to show you guys how rare this shit is. Like, am I sick? Do I have a sickness? Oh my god. Why are you full? I'm not trying to be too full too. Let's get the bill. Her. He doesn't get it. He's not one of the girls. Water. As a girl, don't you guys love like not being the one to drive home? Stuff. You get to just sit in the passenger and chill. Maybe even take a nap 